Hi, good morning. Hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at The Listening Child. It's a 10-page short story uh, that's written by Margaret St. Clair, um, and it's in the collection that we're doing a deep dive into. It was published in 1950 for the short story press called Mercury Press Incorporated. Um, and so that's where it was published in 1950. This is the second short story uh, from 1950 in this collection uh, that we're doing a deep dive into. Um, I will link you uh, to this collection. Uh, so far it's all sci-fi stuff, although she wrote other things too. Um, although this one isn't sci-fi. Uh, uh, this one is more speculative fiction. It has some light elements to it uh, that take it outside of the normal. Uh, but this is really more just a speculative fiction uh, short story, um, and it's really outside of sci-fi proper. Uh, she's very influential in fantasy stuff with her Appendix N, uh, where she is uh, listed as one of the big key influences in early Dungeons and & Dragons and, 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 that, and through the, uh, early Dungeons & Dragons, therefore through modern fantasy, like every sort of media from movies to comics to games, role-playing, uh, real games, uh, games on video um, and streaming games and all the sorts of other things too. So um, she's been very influential through that, through her influences in there. Um, and this collection so far has been science fiction, although again, this one's more speculative fiction. It's my favorite short story in the collection so far. I really uh, like this story a lot, The Listening Child, um, and I'm giving it uh, an 8 out of 10. Um, this actually reads more like a, it's got, it has horror elements to it. So if you were to give this a specific genre outside of just speculative fiction, um, I would say it's probably horror, um, but it's really more speculative fiction. Uh, basically what's winding up happening is we have this old man in this living in this house, uh, and he has become, he's, he's about 63, uh, we find out later on in the short story, and he is become a little bit of an invalid uh, due to angina that he received, uh, and now he is living at home. His landlord um, is also an old woman too, older than him, uh, but she's very active and has a very active lifestyle. She has a grandson. He never had kids or grandkids, obviously. Uh, or was married, uh, so, and he said uh, in the opening page he never much cared uh, for kids until he became an invalid and had to spend a lot of time with his grand, his landlady's grandson, um, who he spends a lot of time with, uh, living uh, in the attic of this house uh, that that he's renting from his landlady. Uh, he was an accountant and he retired from an accounting agency um, after the angina hit. Um, and then he develops a very strong relationship with her grandson um, and uh, a really strong relationship with her grandson and they become very close friends um, and he becomes a mentor for, for him um, and he likes her, her grandson more than she does because uh, she isn't he, he was born deaf and he can't he can't hear um, and he hasn't been able he's going to a school for deaf kids uh, we find out um, and uh, he uh, hasn't learned how to li read lips yet uh, and that sort of a thing. So it's harder to communicate with him um, since he can't speak. Um, and he never learned how to speak because he was born deaf and that sort of a thing. And there are times that she says that he gives him the creeps, but he's like, not me. <laughs> uh, and uh, there are times when it seems like he is listening. And at first, our, our point of view character, the, 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 the 33-year-old uh, man, uh, thinks that this might just be him mimicking behavior, uh, but then as he observes it, he thinks that this person is actually hearing something. And he observes this person on page three, if I remember correctly, but I'm pretty sure, um, hearing something. Uh, as, and he's like, I don't hear anything. Um, and then about, it seems like he's hearing something, and he seems like he's reacting to it, and so forth. Uh, and then after uh, about four or five minutes pass, uh, something actually really does happen, and a neighboring a neighbor's dog gets hit by a car right outside his apartment uh, door um, in the uh, in the uh, attic of this house for his landlady, and uh, he's like, and then he goes back he goes back to normal before uh, the sounds of that happen, and he's like, did he hear what was going to happen this tragic event? Um, and so this is the sort of central idea of this story, is this boy who is deaf have extrasensory perceptions, uh, allowing him to sense tragedy before it happens, in the case of the neighbor's dog who got run over by a car. 
Um, and so this is the central sort of uh, conceit of the story. And the rest of the story is all set in the uh, uh, in the uh, modern times. Obviously, 1950 won't be modern times anymore. <laughs> uh, but it was set in the modern times. It was a contemporary uh, story. So it's a lot of fun. I definitely liked it. It was well written. Uh, it's definitely worth your time. It took me like 18 minutes for me to knock out a 10 page short story. Uh, it, yesterday when I knocked it out for the first time. And I liked it a lot. Um, and so there you are. I'm going to go ahead and bring it to Have you read Listening Child? Uh, if so, what did you think of it? Uh, did you agree with my 8 out of a 10? Would you like to talk about any of the spoilers or anything that happens? Did you like, were you surprised by the ending like I was? Uh, I would be love. Uh, to hear more about you uh, in the comments below, whatever your take is. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel encouraged to hit that subscribe button because there'll be a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I want to take a moment just to thank you for taking a moment to watch my video because we all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an amazing day.